Hello viewers. Uh, today we are going to look at ice cream. What a nice topic. Ice cream is something which normally people wouldn't talk about. They would talk about music, food, travel, whatever. But what about ice cream? Ice cream is one of the most favored foods in the world. And uh, it's a product which we have loved since our childhood. And always we've yearned to have ice cream after a meal or whatever. And children have been denied ice cream because parents think they'll have a sore throat or whatever. And children also are after ice cream. They love it. Now, for the viewers' information, ice cream began in the year 690 BC in China. Now, the Chinese began the ice cream. Can you believe it? All those years ago. And in fact, in 200 BC, the Chinese were using snow to freeze milk and rice and to eat the ice cream. Thereafter, we had the Romans who were doing as much uh, to, to uh, take snow and freeze the ice cream. Now, as far as my information goes, Marco Polo, who had been to China around 1300 or so, had stolen, can you believe, he stole the recipe of the ice cream making from China. Now, the King of England, in his time, you know, uh, around 1280, he had bribed the chef, his chef, 500 pounds a year to ensure that he wouldn't sell the secret of the ice cream. Well, I would have loved to be a chef in his time because 500 pounds in those times was a substantial amount of money. Now, going forward, the ice cream industry developed very well all over the world and in US particularly, there was a, some kind of a ban and uh, they, they had to uh, make the ice cream and call it Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-E. This was done basically to avoid the words normal Sunday because there was some rule that they couldn't say so. That's, that's how it was in all those days. Now, ice cream has developed as a, 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 a very big brand for America because they, they brought ice cream names all over the world initially. Now, first they had what you call, uh, we can talk about Ben and Jerry. Who are, who are like, uh, you know, two uh, brothers, basically, who began the ice cream business way back in 1960. But before that, we had uh, a brother and a brother-in-law by the name of Baskin Robbins, who also began the ice cream business. And thereafter, we had uh, various companies that began as brands, and you can see the photos on how they came up and we had walls from England, we had uh, what do you call uh, uh, a Dairy Queen and so on and the rest of course you can see the photos as we go along. Thank you. Ice cream, ice cream, so many types of ice cream. Hello, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Mm -hmm. so many types of ice cream. Ball ice cream, Cup ice cream, cone ice cream, bar ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, so many flavors of ice cream. It was, furthermore, ice in India, cream, we had cream, begun so with an ice cream brand ice cream. in 1946 called enough? Amul. It was started by the erstwhile IS officer called Dr. Kurian from Anand in Mehsana, which became has become a legend. I mean, look at him. Today, Amul is a household name. That's the how it began. And then we had many brands in India thereafter. We could have a rundown now. Uh, next, we could take ice cream like Arun. We have uh, Pestanji, Dinshaw and uh, mother dairy and so on all these ice creams came up and of particular mention is a brand called have more of course we have quality uh, walls in india but 
Hemo ideally is the first ice cream brand of India now you would say why do I say so there is a reason for it Hemo began as an ice cream brand way back in 1944 it was begun by Mr. Satish Chona in Karachi Pakistan and Mr. Chona had to leave Pakistan in the year 1947 due to partition now initially Mr. Chona he came to Dehradun to start his business but it wasn't all that successful because uh, of the weather there which was cooler so somebody suggested to, to him that he should shift to Ahmedabad which is the place for abundance of milk and the climate is hot there so the ice cream sales would be very good now today of course a lot of brands including like Wadilal's now they are based in Ahmedabad and it's become the ice cream center of India now have more on which I can focus today in particular considering they were the first brand of India is that they began with a lot of ice cream parlors in India and they spread over to something like 14 to 20 cities multiple parlors in, even even with the uh, ice cream uh, uh, boxes in, in individual shops in Kirana shops with such a massive uh, setup that they totally give you around 160 flavors and uh, they began with the concept of franchising out little outlets for ice creams and uh, I am happy to inform you that we are going to visit one such parlor of Have More Today which is located at Kandivali East in Thakur village and uh, let us see how it goes and we'll show you what kind of ice cream is retailing there thank you viewers the brand Have More got sold to a company called Lotte of uh, South Korea for a consideration of around 1020 crores look at the expansion look at the value created by Mr. Chona that is working out today to an international recognition and the new company which is the biggest confectionery company South Korea is planning to double the turnover and they expect it to go up to 2000 crores that's the success of have more which I wanted to convey to you thank you hello viewers so as I was telling about the ice creams now I'm going to do a video on the have more shop now they have hundreds of shops like these mostly all over India but at the moment they are around 20 cities but it's going to increase all the time and uh, this is a classical have more shop as you see and uh, this is the kind of setup have more has done so that they can have wide reach to people in all given societies roads areas like that and we can go and see inside now as to how it's happening what it's about yeah okay thank you Hello viewers, so we are inside this Have More ice cream parlor. These are the kind of little parlors that have been made all over the country and Have More has been in the forefront to bring to the Indian population the best of ice creams. They go up to 160 flavors. Can you imagine that? Plus, this these kind of little ice cream parlors they cater to all the societies in their own areas. We chanced upon this outlet here, which looks very nice, very comfortable, very well appointed, and we decided to come in and see what exactly they are doing. 
So as you can see, as I walked in, you can see all the kind of ice cream, ice cream displayed there. So they've got, uh, you know, all those uh, kind of things available. And they have of course got the sundaes, which I described to you earlier. They've got cakes, they have uh, ice cream shakes, and they have also the scoops. Now the scoops are coming from here, as you see, in the standard display that is carried out where the children, but in particular, can come and choose by pointing at what they want. And that scoop can be served in a cone, whichever they want, whether it's waffle cone or otherwise. Now I am a child right now with a red cap. It feels good as a little boy to come here to have ice cream. That's something which we always wanted, didn't we? And as you see here, we have this dynamic lady here who started the venture and she's Alka. She's managing the show here, an expert at, you know, uh, ice cream and everything and how to handle the business. And uh, they had their storage at the back and the refrigerated products as you see. They have two refrigerators, were very nice and looks like they are running very well. And the deep, deep refrigerators as well at the back. They have substantial ice cream stocked in there which they can serve, I guess, even up to 100, 200 persons per day. It's not a problem at all. And they have different kind of ice creams inside, including cakes and everything. The best part is, for a person like me, I can get diabetic ice cream as well. And we can show you, Alka will show you the kind of ice cream that is diabetic. But she's going to show you that this product is available as well. That's, that's the kind of diabetic ice cream that we can get and uh, this is priced for, I'll tell you in a minute uh, how much, Alka, what this might be priced at, can you tell us around? This is not so much, I'll just take this Yeah, one. you can let us know how much it is and this is another type of ice cream as you see, diabetic again uh -huh. yeah? and uh, this is the kind of uh, payment schemes, everything as now is standard in a given shop and you have various modes of payment, whether it's cash, on the card and so on. And uh, we have also Mr. Ajay here, who Hello. is a partner Hello. in the business and he is equally a very well trained person from his lifetime and he's able to contribute in the logistics and supply chain, everything. He's fully aware of the business. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to taste a nice cream or two and show you how it feels and you can see our re reaction. Thank you. Now as, as I was telling you about the diabetic ice cream, this is Anjir flavor, flavor you see. This is 175 rupees all inclusive. And then we have this ice cream which is around 300, 275 rupees or so, 250, okay. And finally, the premium ice cream like this is for 300, 300 rupees. And they are all 500 grams. And these are weighing 500 grams each, which means it's kind of a tub as we buy and can last a diabetic man perhaps a week. He wouldn't want to eat a lot of ice cream, right? He can take a scoop every day. That's good enough to last a week. So that's how it is. And uh, the standard flavors are all there abundantly that we can show you and the rest we will flavor now and tell you. Thank you. Now viewers, this is Mahabaleshwar strawberry which is the diabetic ice cream which I am getting a scoop of and uh, let me see and uh, my assistant is having another flavor of dark chocolate which she will be making in a minute there it is being scooped out from the container. So viewers, I am starting to eat the ice cream and you can see my reaction. This is the diabetic ice cream as I told you, yes. meaning there is less sugar in it of course and uh, meant for diabetics ideally, but that's the way I am putting it. Here you are. Mm. Yes, it's just the perfect texture, the way I like it.
is neither too uh, sugar free but then again it has a nice flavor to it so i think i love it it's approved so that's about it for today and uh, we'll be carrying on to our next destination nice to be with you viewers and that's our ice cream journey today thank you bye bye मैंगो है चॉकलेट और रस भरी भी सब आइसक्रीम है